tell us a little bit about yourself and what is Print Your City and what is New Raw? Uh, I'm Fatene Setaiki, I'm a designer, a co-founder of the New Raw. And Print Your City is an initiative from the New Raw. Uh, we launched it first time in November 2017. And what we do here is actually producing street furniture and equipment mm. from the city's plastic waste with large-scale large 3D printing. Wow, and, and we're sitting on such yes. a product that you've this designed. This is our first made. prototype. Wow, that's the, so cool. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's called the XXX Bench and yeah. it's specially designed uh, for the city of Amsterdam from the uh, plastic waste of the city. Yeah. And it weighs 50 kilos, wow. exactly the amount of uh, the waste two Amsterdamers produce every year. Two Amsterdamers produce this much plastic waste every year to make this product. You've got Print Your City, New Raw, your company, as mm -hmm. a Print Your City as a project. So how does it fit within the circular economy concept? What, what part of the circular mm -hmm. economy are you really focused on? Well, uh, through uh, our products, uh, we contribute to the reduction of the municipal plastic waste. And for every furniture we produce, we recycle plastic waste, but also we create a material that can be recycled again. And in that way, close the loop. Mm. And by the way, locally. Oh, wow, <laughs> locally, within the city itself. Yes. I love circular cities. They really, they really are the way forwards. Um, so you said this is 3D printed, and it's got a look about 3D printing. But, but what are the advantages of 3D printing technologies? What, how does it help? Well, to my opinion, there are a lot of advantages. Uh, first of all, it supports the local and on-demand production. Uh, but also it enables the citizens to be involved not only into uh, donate um, in the in the part of donating, for instance, the material for this product, but also in the uh, decision making. So, for instance, they can customize it and adjust it to, according to their needs. Uh, also, it's an additive approach. Uh, we produce parts in a layer by layer manner. And so in that way, we do not produce extra waste. Yeah. This seems really big for 3D printing. Uh, you have a technique where you put it all together, I guess. Yes, uh, actually, um, I would say this is a modest size. Wow, this is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I've got used to 3D printing being little things. And yeah, this is, this is I, a I big mean, thing. until now, uh, we are most, uh, mostly used to see smaller products from mm. 3D printing, mm. uh, but we see, uh, but we think you can have a bigger impact mm. um, into, let's say, the production of waste when we produce larger parts. Mm. What you've I mean, you've set your business up and you've had some challenges, I guess, in terms of designer product and in terms of your business model. Can you tell us anything about that? Well, now we are in the phase of uh, developing uh, this into a business model. Mm. Uh, of course, it's challenging. Uh, everybody actually loves the idea of producing products mm. from waste. However, uh, uh, there are some concerns when it comes to placing it in public space. Mm. For instance, uh, is this material hygienic enough mm. or is this safe enough? Mm. So now we are a bit challenged with these questions before entering the market, let's wow. say. Well, it feels really strong. <laughs> <laughs> I feel safe sitting on it, that's for sure. So what are your future plans for New Raw, your company? What do you plan to do? Uh, well, one of our future plans is to actually be able to uh, extend uh, our, so to extend our services so we can be actually able to lease public space so not just uh, selling products that are made from recycled and recyclable material but mm. also um, uh, integrate this idea in the way we produce parts um, and others so, sorry so leasing you said yes so that's a really circular economy business yeah. model plan as well yeah that's why oh, what yeah. we try now to uh, establish okay. Uh, and the other thing is that with, because with 3D printing, uh, you, don't, you are not limited only in the production of one type of product, also extend to, for instance, other products like uh, bar stops, playground, uh, recycling bins, uh, so to extend our produ product line as well. Wow, so it's a lot of the infrastructure things within the yeah. city, the public infrastructure yeah. stuff that you're looking at. Yeah. Wow, there's so much to go for. Yeah. Cities are filled with things. <laughs> This is amazing. Well, that's what we think. And actually, uh, by being able to produce uh, uh, public space and actually improve it from the city's plastic waste, yeah. I think that's closing the makes loop. sense to me. I yeah. love it. Thank you very much. <laughs> me too. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>